Hello, my YouTube family. It is it is Friday, honey, and that special Friday because there is a three day weekend ahead. So you know I am extraordinarily relieved and I am extraordinarily happy. So uh, yeah, you didn't see me yesterday. Uh, Pop and I both were in a rather chatterboxy mood. And, you know, I tend to follow wherever his conversations go. So he wanted to talk about his job, his co-workers, politics. Oh, yeah, we, the gamut. I didn't get back up here until 730. So, you know, I wasn't going to do nothing, right? I love when he's in that mood. And the funny thing is, I, I walked in downstairs, at, you know, because I have a key. I walk in anytime I want. Came in, and he's sitting there, he's just sitting there just chilling. Like, normally I would catch him in his bedroom where his TV is, and I would catch him watching TV. No, not today. Um, He was, I mean, not yesterday. He was in the living room just chilling. He didn't have a radio on. He wasn't playing any music. He was just sitting on his favorite chair, and he had his legs stretched out. And he heard, he heard the key come through the door, and he's like, who's that coming through my door? That's my pops. It better had been me. Who else would it have been with the key? You know, I'm just saying. So, okay, so that's why you did not see me yesterday. Um, but these are the same lips. But I was wearing red yesterday because of, you know, Valentine's Day and all of that. And guess who gave me a little chocolate at the end of the day? Cutie, he gave me a little chocolate. Because I was bashing him all day. I was like, well, where's my chocolate? Where's my little flower? Where is something? Could you, I said, you know what? You could just go outside and, you know, if you, if you could find a leaf on a tree, cut it in the shape of a heart and just put it on my desk and I'd be satisfied. And he was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I was like, for real? So, yeah. But he's the typical guy where it's like Valentine's Day is a man-made hallmark holiday. I was like, yeah, I heard it all before. Okay, I heard it all before. You guys are all alike. I heard it all before. So, um, I'm sure he got his thing something. But um, he got me a little chocolate at the end of the day. It was a, a Nestle Simply Treasures or Simply Pleasures or something like that. It was a little red. I was like, for real? He came back in and... Well, we had just finished talking, and then and I said, you know, bye, see you tomorrow. Left, and I was doing my own thing. I was busy yesterday, and I was busy as hell today. So I was doing my work, and this was like about 5.15, and he, he come, and he goes, this is for you. And I was like, for real? That is so sweet. So, you know, I got my little chocolate, so I couldn't say anything. So I know what y'all are thinking. Well, Nancy, um, it's kind of obvious that he sort of likes you. He has got a girlfriend, okay? He is just being nice to the old lady that sits at the reception desk. That's it. For real. So, okay. So, these were lips of yesterday. And, of course, I'm wearing black. So, you know, they popping. They were popping yesterday and they popping today. So, these were lips of yesterday and today. And what are they? Well, the liner is my old scratched up. Mac in current. See it all scratched up. I've had this for centuries, people. And this is another scratched up doozy. But my favorite lip gloss. One of my favorite lip. I've got all of my lip glosses are my favorite. This is the original Urban Decay Lip Gunk in appropriately named Kiss. You can't see it, but that's what it says. It says KISS. Now, this is the original formula. I know that Urban Decay still sells lip gunks, but they don't look like this anymore. They have another design. I don't know what they, they look like. So, I don't know if they're even the same formula. But this tastes like Coca-Cola. They all have a flavor. Every single lip gunk that I have has a flavor. And this one... Coca-Cola. So there you have it. So this is Urban Decay Lip Gunk in Kiss. I don't know if they still sell it, 
Maybe they sell it in a different format. I'm not sure. But this is Kiss. So that is Lips of the Day, people. Okay, I wanted to show you an empty. My The second one, gone. This was the hydrating coconut milk. Finished it this morning, people. I mean, you talk about finished. Look at that. Empty as empty can be. So that's an empty. And what is taking its place, starting tomorrow, is my Seabooth Buttercream Body Souffle. I had to buy this, people, because the smell, and just the word buttercream, buttercream, it just sounds so, ooh, just so, it's buttercream body souffle, souffle, puffy, and buttercream just sounds so moisturizing and so, mm. So when I smelt it in the store, I was like, yes, yes, please. This is what it looks like, very thick and creamy. And heavenly sweet Jesus. It, I don't know what buttercream originally smells like, but if it smells like this, love it. Love this. I bought this at a Dwayne Reed Seabooth Buttercream Body Souffle. So I'll be using that to slather up my body tomorrow. Not that anybody's going to be smelling it other than myself, because all I have to do tomorrow is go. I have, I, have, I have a couple of stops to make. I have to go to the post office. Then I have to go to the bank. And then I have to go get my car, you know, the oil change soon. Got to get that, the oil change, and then come home. So I'm going to try to wake up early enough because I'm hearing, I'm hearing whispers of snow again. So I don't know if it's a heavy snow, if it's a light snow. I'm sure it's a light snow because, you know, they didn't like, we interrupt this program to give you a weather bulletin of any kind. So it's, I'm sure it's a, a light snow. So this is my new body butter, body souffle. And Sarah, girl 414, yes, she was quite curious to see what my yarn was. So let me show you what I'm doing because I already started it. This is the beginnings of, this is the needle that I'm using. It is number four, number four crochet needle. This is the smallest needle I've ever worked with. When I originally ordered it, I thought it was the, the, the needle that I normally use to crochet with. I think the number I used to crochet with was number seven. This is number four, but it's working anyway. And this is what I'm making. I got to be very careful. I don't know if you could see that. This is the stitch. It is, it's a square stitch. It's a square stitch and, you know, square all over. And it is going to be my father's throw. And this is the yarn and it's got little silver flecks in it, like silver shimmers. So, all the yarn that I'm using has silver shimmers in it. So this is the black that I'm starting off with. Then this is the pewter gray that comes next. As you can see, it's got shimmers in it as well. I've got a cobalt blue. It's got shimmers in it as well, as you can see. I've got a green. It's got shimmers as well. Can you see the shimmers? And the last one is white, and it too has shimmers. So there you go. I'm not using all of these colors for the throw. I'm starting off with the black, and then I'm going to use the pewter gray and end it with the white. Now, if I need to make it bigger, if it's not as big as I want it to be, then I'll add after the white, then I'll I'll order another pewter and then I'll go black again. So we shall see. So that's it. That's pe that's it, people. This is what I'm, you know, this is what I do while I'm watching TV. But I'm getting so into it. I'm getting so involved that sometimes I'll miss something on the TV and I'm like, oh, damn, I'm getting involved. Now, there is a new show that started yesterday, people. Zero Hour. Yes, I'm already hooked. 
I am already hooked. There's another show on FX. Zero hours on Channel 7, ABC. There's another, <clears throat> excuse me, there's another show on FX called The Americans. I missed last week's episode, this week's episode. I missed this week's episode. I'm praying that it's on demand somewhere so I can catch up because I'm liking that one too. It's about a Russian, two Russian spies who live in a suburban area trying to blend in with the, the quote unquote all American family, but they're spying on us. And it's supposed to be taking place in the 80s when Reagan was president. Honey. It is very good. And it has the girl, Kerry Russell. She used to play Felicity. I don't know if y'all are old enough to remember Felicity. This was a show in the early 90s or mid 90s. I was all into it, honey. I was all into the Felicity. Yeah, it was It was a good show. It was a good show. So um, I don't know if any of you even know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, so those are my shows. And last night was Scandal. Whoo, there was a scene. What the hell is the FCC doing? Because they are letting some porn just pass on by <laughs> right on, right on, you know, all American television without cable. Scandal is on Channel 7. Okay, it's an ABC show at night from 10 to 11. The scenes between Fitz and, um, well, Kerry Washington, her name is Kerry too. Kerry Washington's character, uh, Olivia, Olivia Pope. The scenes between those two. I mean, he was taking her from behind. and it, I know, I, I need to keep it PG. I need to keep it PG. But um, the scenes. I don't know where the FCC is because they're letting some scenes slide like nobody's business. I was like, damn, they are letting this pass on primetime TV? Y'all need to just see the show in order to know what I'm talking about, okay? Just, just, if you could on demand just last night's episode, that's all you need to see to know what I'm talking about. For those of you that are 18 and above, the ones that are not 18 and above, do not. Of course, now that I say do not, of course, now you're curious and you want to go see. Typical. Okay, so that is it, people. My three-day weekend started as of 5.30 when I was off the clock. And I am happy, happy, happy. I'll be happier once I get everything done tomorrow. Okay, once I go to the post office, once I go to the bank, after I get my car, oils, oils changed, come home, then I will max and relax. This, I don't know, I don't think... Mm, I don't think I'm going to have enough money to get that done. So, yeah, since le next week is just going to be a four-day week, y'all going to have to see some headbands again. But then that following weekend, I'll definitely go. Because by then, I'll have to get it all touched up, colored. I mean, you could see. Hello. Now you see nothing but a snow white head. I'm old, people. I'm old. So that's that. With that upon that. These are lips of the day, Urban Decay, Lip Gunk in Kiss. All right. And it is a lip gloss. I did not do a lipstick today. I did lip gloss yesterday and today. So you did not miss out on anything because these were yesterday's lips. And that's it. So everybody have a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody has a three-day weekend. If not, I'm really sorry, but you do hopefully still have a weekend. So you enjoy that as much as you can. Hit me up and let me know what you think. You know I will comment right back. Um, That is that. I think, yeah, I wrote down everything I needed to write. That is that. With that, upon that, there's the weekend. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I love you all. I will see you on Tuesday. And um, yeah, I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay, I love you. Bye now.